What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going for a test drive on a 1957 Bel Air. This one's got a believe to be 327 under the hood. No power steering on this one. What I like to do in these videos is take them down the road, point out any kind of flaws so you don't have to. Check us out at maplemotors.com. I have close to 100 detailed pictures of every ride on the lot. We also have shipping and financing available for you. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share, and hit like, and I'll keep these videos coming your way. As for now, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. But place your bets, do you think the horn works? This is a game we play on the channel. Just checking out the horns and stuff. A lot of them, uh, it's like literally 50% don't actually honk. So do you think this one does? Looking across the dash, not too bad. You see some age right there on the speaker, but the grill to the speaker at least. The seat in here has been redone. It is nice and clean. We'll be going over the whole interior at the very end of the video through the walk around. Looking at the package tray, it's nice and clean. Couple speakers back there and the headliner on this one looks awesome. Somebody has done it right. Even the light cover, we're getting lucky with all the light covers. You can see some of the old glass all the way around the car. I personally like the look of the old glass. I think it's cool. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start her up. You can see the new carpet in here. It starts up easy. Radio. Let's see if it works. We got speakers in here, but does the radio work? Got some receipts in the glove box. Ashtray. Radio is not cutting on. Blower motor. Anything? I hear it cutting on. No AC, lower motor's working. Wipers? Oh wow, that switch is done for. It's like not moving at all. But we'll just say the wipers are not working right now. Um, Gas gauge looks like it's on quarter tank, but we're definitely getting fuel and the temperature gauge has came up. As far as turn signals, they're popping up on the dash on both sides. What about the horn? Did you place your bets? <laughs> looks like it's working. So if you guessed, yes, it works. Then you win. All right, let's hit the road. See how it runs and drives. All right, so we're getting ready to take off here. Anything I see, I will let you know. I did notice they've replaced the carpet and a lot of the interior pieces, but they didn't put seatbelts back in this one. So this one does not have seatbelts at the moment. All right, let's take off. Like I said, no power steering. Clutch is letting out about halfway. Feels pretty good when it comes off the top there. So I noticed right off the bat it's pulling to the left. When I let go of the steering wheel, it pulls me significantly to the left. Speedometer is not working on this one at all. Going in all the gears nice and smoothly. Check these brakes out before we get going too far here. The brakes feel good. Just manual brakes, but they feel pretty good. Let's see here. Coming up with the red light. down to see the light here. Supposed 
and we'll come back and get some gas. I think we'll be all right. pretty good you got a little bit of slack in the steering but like I said it's pulling pretty hard to the left here other side of this gas station so we're getting ready to roll up in here uh, I'm gonna put about $20 worth of fuel in this ride and we'll keep the video going we're also gonna get some undercarriage shots that way you can see the undercarriage all lit up and uh, look at the detailed pictures as well so you get more undercarriage shots the gas station. I'll see you here in just a moment, guys. A little bit of a tire rub up in the front right, it sounded like. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I have got the gas in the tank. We put about $20 worth of fuel in this ride. And we're getting ready to check that gas gauge out. I'm gonna say it works. But we'll find out here in just a moment. I just didn't wanna run out. You put the gas in right over here. And like I said, it took every bit of $20. So let's jump in here and see how much the gauge moves. I believe it was on quarter tank. And let's get you a little closer. Now we're looking at a half a tank. So it does work. Let's go ahead, keep this rolling.
Okay, so far so good. And we're gonna go ahead and head back to the lot. So I know the emergency brake is not working. Sounds like it is, but it's not working. It's not holding the car. Also, I noticed the turning radius. It has something to do with the uh, left pull, I'm sure. The turning radius is not as strong on the right as it is the left. Okay. a good open road here. Got a pretty hard left pull there. Going into all the gears nice and smooth. getting ready to pull back in the lot here I do appreciate you watching the videos again if you're new to the channel hit subscribe share and like and I'll keep making these videos for you that does help me out quite a bit and I thank you in advance all right back at the lot we're gonna be doing the picking out the flaws segment of the video I'll see you here in just a moment thanks again guys Okay, so we're getting ready to walk around this ride looking for chips, scratches, rust, any flaws I can find. Look at the detailed pictures. That way uh, we got two perspectives. I do the video, my uncle does the pictures, and we go all the way around these cars looking for flaws. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to go down the lower portions. Man, this car is nice and shiny. It's got a lot of wax on it, that's for sure. Coming up here around the front, you can tell the front bumper has been replaced. Look how clean this is, along with the uh, bumper up here. This one actually is a little bit older. You can see the pitting, if I get real close. The bottom portion is a lot newer. You can see a little bit of pitting on this one as well. And the headlight bezels haven't been completely replaced. got a little crack here you also got a chip right here coming down the lower portion up and over you got some dings in your trim there's one right there a few right here you also got uh, chips and a scratch right there on your fender well coming on down there's a chip right here light scratch right here in the paint job And around to the back a little bit of pitting popping up on some of your chrome there coming back to mid section here 
a lot of that trim is in good shape nice and clean you got a few dings right here and up here you got some pitting on your door handle more dings in this trim you got chips in your jam there and back over the top of the fender here nice and clean so far mirrors look pretty good a few little spots there this window here vent window has got some cracks in it and some pitting around the edges of it trim around your front windshield looks pretty good and there's no scratches on the window it looks nice and clean little trim piece pops up as it should pitting right here looks like some overspray that actually probably come off with some steel wool you got a little spot here in the window though might scratch on the back window seal actually looks good around it some more scratches on the back window there let's go over the roof real quick so far so good nice and smooth and clean on that roof Coming around to the trunk, we come up on the back. Your jams are awesome looking, very slick. All the way around. The trunk in here has got a decent mat. Doesn't look to be very old. And it's dry. Nice and clean and dry. Get in your package tray. Looks pretty good. Your jams or your fenders. Let's see if I can push this back so I don't cause too big of a mess here. <laughs> you got a spare tire, jack. There we go. Got her flattened out a little bit for you. Weather stripping has been replaced around the trunk nice and clean. The edges of the trunk so far, they're looking smooth. Very nice. Go ahead and shut this down. Doing it with the finger. Look, already locked. It's good. Need that tray adapter that goes on here to keep it off of the paint. Back bumper has been replaced, nice and clean. Tail lights have been replaced. Still got a little pitting around some of your chrome back here around the tail lights. Coming down this side, lower portion first. And over the fender, nice and smooth, not seeing anything yet. Coming on down some more. Still looking good. A little scuff right there on the trim up and over the fender nice and smooth over here you can see how close it is that's why that rubbing noise was coming from the tire there when i was turning back in the mid section you got a ding right here you got pitting on your door handle light scuffs on the trim there Got a ding up top. Here in the back, looks like they backed into something in this corner. Back over the top portion here. Nice and clean. Back window. Light scratches back here. On the actual window itself. Trim. Look pretty good. A little bit of that overspray on this side too. Old glass. I don't know if I unlocked it or not. A little sticky there. 
I wonder if it's because of the windows I have hair high. Let's come back up with it. Make it even. Yeah. There it goes. Glass old on this side too, around the vent window. At least it's not cracked. A little bit of pitting here on your mirrors. Coming over your front window. Looking good. Little scratches on your trim down here. Up and over your roof line here. Nice and clean. I can actually see the lights reflecting off of the church here. Good deal. We made it around this ride. Let's go ahead and check out the inside, get her started up, and listen to the motor. So we open up the door here, the panel. You can tell it's been replaced. Looking good. Little line there that'll wipe off. Seal has been replaced. Bottom of your door. Carpet has been replaced in this one. Your jams nice and clean. You can see on the seat, nowhere, nowhere in the carpet. Let's move my jacket. I ought to do that. Let's throw her up there. Give it a little gas. turn signals on a little squeak from a belt the exhaust sounds pretty good these gauges have been moving around fluctuating they are working showing uh 5127 miles can't stand behind that in a 57 model Chip right here on the edge. Coming on down with the hood here. Comes down easy. And it's locked. Still a few chips on the hood I want to show you here. Right up here in the front, you can see where it come down and met. Right up here. Also here. Scratches on some of your chrome in the front here. Fitting right here. And fitting on this one as well. Okay, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share, and hit like. I need your help. That helps me out a lot. And I'll keep these videos coming your way. I'll continue to make them every day for you so you can sit at home and know exactly what you're getting before you get to Maple Motors. We try to be as honest as we can and uh, give you as much information as we can as well. Be sure to go to maplemotors.com. I have finance and I have shipping on every car at the lot. Also, I have those 100 detailed pictures, so go there, check it out, and look at all of our inventory that we update every Monday. I know you guys have been asking about the shirts. Go to the merchandise section on our website or here on YouTube and pick you up some Maple Motors gear. I appreciate you watching. Thanks, guys.